Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Frankie Kington. I am the Wise Entrepreneur. I thank you for tuning to my YouTube channel. This afternoon, I'm interviewing a lovely lady and a friend and the business person as well. And she's got a lot to tell you today on this channel. So my name, as I said, is Frankie Kington. I'd like to introduce Melanie Worthington. She's got her own piano teaching business and she's going to talk about today for you. So hello, Melanie, and thank you for coming to my channel. How are you this afternoon? Hi, Frankie. Thank you very much for inviting me this afternoon. Um, I'm, I'm very well, thank you, and looking forward to making this video with you. Um, yeah, thank you. Well, I'm just glad to have you on here, Melanie. You know? I know you're such a nice lady, you're very bubbly. I can see you're very smiling. And then um, you're talking about your teaching business, which I'm really interested in. But first, now, let's talk a little bit about you, about your background. Where are you from? Okay. What you okay. Where do you live? And tell us a bit about yourself, yeah. Okay, Frankie. So I was born in the 1960s in Liverpool. Um, I was born into a musical family. Uh, my dad played five or six musical instruments. So my earliest recollection was sitting on his knee, him playing the piano or strumming on a guitar. Uh, my mum was a singer, a uh, semi-professional singer. So I grew up in a, in a musical family. So I really basically know no different. It's in my blood. Um, so as I was growing up, uh, they didn't tell me to learn. I just, like all children do, followed what they did and played on the piano, played duets with my mum and my dad and I sang. Uh, we didn't have a television, we, it was all about music. Um, so that was my childhood and as I grew up I'd always played, I'd always played. Um, sadly, um, both my parents have passed away now. Uh, but I still play on the family piano, which is by the side of me here. This is the piano that my mum and my dad played on. Excellent. Um, wow. And so I've owned this piano all my life. It's moved from house to house with me. It's very sentimental um, to you, assuming Melly as well, yeah? Pretty sentimental. Very, yeah. very. very. Um, and as I say, sadly, my, my, dad, my dad died of Alzheimer's. Um, and even, even though he had Alzheimer's, he could still play the piano and he still entertained his neighbors. Even though he didn't know what his name was, he could still entertain. And I actually realized that, that the piano playing is really good for your cognitive um, health. Yeah. It, it was the one thing when my father had Alzheimer's that he could still, it would bring light to his eyes when he played for people. And so that made me realize that it wasn't just uh, just a hobby, really. It was it was a way of life. And it was also a very um, uplifting and um, lovely part of my childhood and my younger life. So I've always, always played. Uh, as for teaching, this has been relatively new to me in the last I'd say six or seven years. Um, somebody asked me to teach their child. Um, I did so, and then suddenly I realized that I could. Um, and so I had a gift that I could share with others, as indeed my parents did before me. And were your um, parents, what was it like having parents who were like professional musicians? Were they, were they proud of you here, Melanie? Did they encourage you or were they very critical with you? How did they motivate you? What did they feel about you as a, as a musician? Um, they really weren't focusing on me as a, as a musician. They were just focusing on, on the family and enjoying music, really. I must have been proud um, of you, though, I'm sure they was, yeah. They, they were very, very proud of me. Um, yeah. I... You know, I, I, I'm blessed to have had two incredibly good parents who were very um, supportive of me. That's really uh, important. But but they they I learned by example rather than being told what to do. Um, and this is something that this is something that I actually say to people that 
um, if the children want to learn the piano, I think really it might be better if if you you learn first because children follow the parents. They don't do as the parents tell them; they do as the parents do. Um, I like that. I like that many. And true. I'm not going to say I won't teach children. I will. Um, but I need the children to have the inspiration from their parents first because there's nothing worse than telling a child to do something and not doing it yourself. You've got to walk the walk. Yeah. You've got to do it. You've got to exactly. do it yourself. Exactly, not as I do. It doesn't really work, does it, Melanie? You know? It doesn't. I mean, I've got two daughters and they both play, um, but they, they grew up with me playing, so um, that's why they play not because I told them to play. That's incredible. Um, That's really good. And yeah. like you said, you said you've had Alzheimer's. What I've noticed as well, Melanie, about people who have illnesses, what I do know, music, yeah, and studying and keeping our mind active as well, Melanie, 24-7, and being a lifelong student and learner really helps us, you know, to deal with issues like Alzheimer's or dementia. And that's what we found, you know. So, um, I find that really inspiring what you said about your dad and um, you know how he taught you how to teach. Now I'm looking there, Melanie, and you're right next to your piano. So I'm actually seeing that you're really protective of this piano and it means so much to you. And mm. I'm sure that every time you play as well, Melanie, you're thinking of your parents, aren't you, and your mum and your dad. That must most, resonate most with your heart. Yeah, most definitely. And I think our parents give us gifts. Um, as indeed mine did, and, and we have a duty really to pass those gifts on to others. Um, and they passed it on to me, I pass it on to other people. Uh, I want to just bring joy to anybody who learns, um, because that's what it's all about. It's, a, it's learning a new skill, it's really good for your cognitive health. Um, it's also very good in this pandemic as we're, we're with at the moment to be mindful and while you're thinking about playing an instrument you can't be worrying about anything else you're in the moment you you're mindful you, you you're creating something yeah. it's um, very therapeutic and says well moment yeah very therapeutic yeah very very therapeutic very yeah, therapeutic. yeah. yeah. Mm. And um, I feel that's what people need so um Melanie, um, how many um, tunes do you play in your piano? Do you play a lot of songs in your piano? How many people do you teach? Do you have a lot of people that you teach? Or are you still building that up your business? I'm, um, I play hundreds, thousands of pieces of music. I've played all my life. So I've got, uh, I've got music for every genre. I've got uh, beginner's music, advanced. I've got... Um, popular music, I've got the Beatles, I've got Elton John, um, classical, jazz, wow. any kind of style uh, I can play and I can also teach. Um, at, the, at this present moment, I, I love to teach adults who have always wanted to learn. It's been their lifelong ambition to learn. Um, and I get a lot of pleasure with that because as I said at the beginning, I'm very, very fortunate in the sense that I've played all my life and not everybody has that start. And so if they haven't got that start for whatever reason, I can help them today and and learn, learn a skill. So as far as pupils are concerned, um, at, at the moment I've got, uh, I teach for two days a week and I'd like to teach three days a week if I could. I don't want to teach any more than that because I want to enjoy it. And when you do too much of something, sometimes the enjoyment can go. Um, I think that's I great, Melanie. I Pardon? think the more you enjoy something, if we enjoy something and you're teaching people at the same time, it's like killing two birds with one stone, really, isn't it? You're getting so much pleasure from it. Yeah. And like you yeah. said, you want to work two or three days a week. I think that's really great. Um, did you want to show us any teams today? Did you want to? Give anyone what because I'm sure that when you play the piano and like you say you have a wide range of all different types of music whether it's from reggae from funk to jazz to soul to opera classical music do you feel that really helps you as well to embrace a piano 
because piano fits in all different types of music. Would you agree with that? It, it does, yes, it does. Um, I mean, I grew up with the classics. Um, I, I, I won't say what I prefer, but I think classical music is probably my, my favourite um, because a lot of it was written uh, for piano. Um, however, a lot of popular music I teach as well, including the Beatles and because I'm from Liverpool and obviously my, my father played in the 1960s in Liverpool. Wow. The Beatles were big. Um, Incredible. I actually played yesterday at my own father's funeral because it was oh, his favourite Wow. Um, he always loved that tune. And um, yeah, one of the things that I, I was considering is teaching Beatles music. Um, Everyone knows the Beatles and an incredible band, yeah. yeah. Amazing, one of the biggest bands in the world, wasn't it? You know, everybody knows the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. and I'm so, so proud for coming from Liverpool as well. But you know, I'm very proud of my birth city. And um, so it be, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The only yeah. song, I mean, it's great you talked about the Beatles. I mean, I, um, I love piano. I just love hearing the piano. And the only tune I could play was the Page Mode, Just Can't Get Enough. No, the, 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 that's the only one I could play and I was really happy that I could play that you know and uh, yeah you know the, I think that was the only song that I could play so do you teach your children Melanie do you teach them to play or do they just oh, watch you How, my, my children or any children yeah any children your children is it because obviously it's an art, isn't it? Playing the piano, it's an art. It is. You find it people is. just pick it up, and you feel people need teaching as well. They need teaching. They need the basic skills. Um, you know, you, you can pick up a tune. However, I always say to people, when you can play a tune, you can't play the piano. You can only play a tune. So I give them the tools to play any tune, not just one tune. So most people will come to me and say, look, I can play, like you just said to me now, I can play a tune. Mm -hmm. And I would say, oh, lovely, please play it for me. You know, yeah. I'd, love, I'd love to hear you play it. However, that, playing that tune is not going to help you to play the next tune. Whereas if mm -hmm. I teach you the skills, you'll be able to pick up a book and play any tune, not just that tune. Um, look at Beethoven. You know, Pardon? I Beethoven. I love Beethoven, but Beethoven, every yeah. single day he put so much energy into learning how to play the piano because he was dead yeah. as well. You know, we had a few illnesses and um, he was so passionate about playing the piano. You could see it in how he played his piano. Are yeah. you kind of like that? Are you that passionate? Well, what I know with, with piano is like everything in life, it's, it's visual, it's audio and it's kinesthetic and some people as I explained with my father who had Alzheimer's he could still play um, but some of the best players are actually blind um, I, I met them, them Ray Charles yeah yeah because they they, they can use their kinesthetic and audio um, senses that they're heightened um, and in fact they, they teach piano in the blind schools um, to, to children and adults who can't see because it gives them so much pleasure. Yeah. Um, so when I'm teaching people and, and, and they can't perhaps understand something, I sometimes get them to shut their eyes and feel the music and listen to the music. They don't have to valuable. see it. Valuable. So much valuable information. Melanie, so talking about that, who... Are your favourite piano players then? Who do you admire? Is it people you look up to? Do you think, oh, I'd love to play like him? Who do you admire? I I admire all um, piano players really because wow. um, there's not one in there's not one in particular. Um, I'm just in awe of of people and. Um, there's two ways there's two ways of, of playing the piano one's by ear and one's um learning formally and there are some people that are very very gifted that they they don't have to learn formally and i i, I was as i explained about my father 
he, he was a musician, but he never had a lesson in his life. Never. He played by ear. Um, and I'm fortunate to have that skill as well. Yeah, that's um, it. So it's that, that's, that's only that gene, that, that yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. you can teach it, but it's innate in a lot of people. And I think probably I admire people that, that are not formally taught that are gifted. Um, I mean, I, I've got a few members of my own family that are, are, are gifted music teachers as well. My cousin in America, she runs a, a music school in, in New York. Um, and I've got another relative who travels the world um, teaching clarinet. Wow. So, so it's, in, it's in my genes. Um, and I only realized this relatively recently. Um, that some some of it is can be learned, but some of it is genetic. Um, any and, tips for anybody out there, then, Melanie? Pardon? Any tips for anybody playing the piano? What tips would you give to people who want to play the piano? Um, the tips yeah. to be focused um, and persistent and never ever give up and practice every day. How long do you practice, man, if you don't mind me asking? Do you practice a certain amount of times each day? What length do you practice? To give people an idea of how long? Well, all of my pupils, I say that it's like brushing your teeth or, or anything that you do routinely um, should be done 10 minutes a day, uh, no more. No more than 20 minutes a day because the brain shuts off after 20 minutes. Wow. So it's probably better to do two lots of 10 minutes, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, not at night when you're tired. In the morning is probably the best. Um, I probably do that. I don't do an awful lot because it's slowly, slowly. It's 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 a routine. It's like anything. It, 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 it's not immediate. Right, okay. So basically, what I was going to say to you then, um, uh, Melanie, yeah, is the piano different from the organ, the electric organ? Would you say there's a lot of difference there? Yes, there is. Um, I mean, it, it, it's a strong instrument, so you get more depth to the, the notes. Um, strangely enough, in my father's latter years, he never played the piano, he only played the electronic organ. And the reason that he did this is he liked all the um, the extras, the the accompaniment, and the, the the all all the different things that went with it. Whereas I was always the traditionalist, and I was even though my dad was older than me, he always liked the modern things, and I always liked the old fashioned things. Should have been the other way around, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, so I love the piano because it's weighted, and you get a better depth of of, of tone. Yeah. To, to it. Did yeah. they bear any expensive pianos? Because the beautiful things aren't they? Someone, what price did they bear? Did they bear any expensive for people? Can you get second hand pianos? You have to buy in what's the best way to get a piano? Do you have to buy it new or can you get nice second hand ones? Is it different? It breaks, yeah, it breaks my heart because um, there are so many now being given away for free because there are because they are a massive piece of furniture and a lot of modern houses. They're too big for modern houses, really, a lot of them. My grandparents had a, a big grand piano in their front room uh, that I practiced on as, as a very small child. This is an upright piano, but I find an awful lot of my pupils uh, will either have clavinovas or they will have um, electric, which are a lot more transportable. So I, I do teach the keyboards as well, but I, I do prefer a, a proper strong piano. I mean, the great on the organs and pianos are great, but me personally, I feel the more skilled and the more professional, the more classic of the piano, like what you have there. And you know, yeah. it's, how long would you say it would take people to learn to play the piano? Is there a certain length of time what people need to learn to play the piano? Or do people pick it up quickly? People who hear it or people who are kinesthetic? Is there any difference with that? Um. I'd say, as I said before, if you're genetically predisposed to be a musician, you're going to pick it up faster. 
than if if you're not. Um, but people have been with me learning for two to three years. Um, wow. I always I always say it, it, it it's it's not for the short term. It's for the for the yeah. long term. Yeah. You know, it's and and you never stop learning. I mean, I never stop learning. I learn from my pupils. Um, you know, they keep me on the to on my toes as much as I keep them. It's a two way thing. That's great, Melanie. So, Melanie, I've really enjoyed interviewing you today. I think you've gave us some real great information, advice, and why you play the piano. Is there any information you'd like to give the viewers anywhere where they can get hold of you? Because you do teach. Yeah. Would you like to share some information? Yeah. Would you like to um, at the moment, I'm only teaching remotely because of the pandemic. So I can teach to anybody anywhere in the world, really. Um, as long as you've got a, a laptop or a phone, I teach on Zoom, WhatsApp and FaceTime. Uh, my website is prospectpianotuition.co.uk. Anybody can have a look at my website. Um, and yes, I'd be, I'd love to hear from anybody who'd like to learn. Uh, it's a pleasure to teach people. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks for sharing that information. I'm so happy to have you on my YouTube this afternoon. Viewers, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, business people, ladies and gentlemen, if you really like this YouTube, and you love Melanie Worthington. She's a very nice person. She's a very great friend. If you like what you hear today, leave a comment below, please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification button and you get all the information from my YouTube channel. But again, I'd just like to thank Melanie. Thanks for coming on, Melanie. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate what you're doing. And I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot more from you. And I might. I might even go into the piano lessons myself now. So um, thanks again, Melanie. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. Look after yourself. My warmest wishes. Take care now. Bye-bye. Thank you, Frankie. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Melanie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.